Game started. A uh, moose boy. Let's see what he's got. E4. Let's see. I just played two Sicilians in a row. How about uh, center counter? Haven't haven't done a center counter in a while. It takes. Uh, I like the knight f6 line. Queen takes is probably the main move. And he just lets me take the pawn back. And then he gets a big center. That's an interesting way to play. <coughs> So uh, yeah, he's probably probably pretty good here. Probably good for white. Let's see. Can I undermine with c5? Just takes. Yeah, I'll start with um, e6, I guess. I am blocking in my light squared bishop. But I, maybe I can play c5 now. And if he takes, I take back. If he pushes, I'll probably exchange and give him an isolated pawn here. And he does neither. So can I take it? I guess um, if I take it, he can take back with the knight. Should I develop a piece first? Hard to say. Let's take. <clears throat> Can't decide. Then I'm going to come out with the uh, bishop or the knight. Now let's prepare castling. If I develop the knight, he can just take it and give me uh, a pawn, a pawn weakness of some kind. Um, now maybe he's threatening to come into um, b5 here to uh, c7, kind of annoying, an annoying threat. I should probably do something about it. Yeah, I have a, a serious lack of development in this position, but I'm going to castle and, and start getting my pieces out here. I did have to take care of some immediate threats, I think, over here. And he's just doing that. So if I want to avoid pawn damage, I can go knight d7. Maybe knight d7 to c5. Um, if I don't mind the pawn damage, I can play knight c6 directly. Bishop here is still an idea. I might gain a tempo at some point. Yeah, let's go ahead and play with uh, <clears throat> with knight d7. And see what he does. He could play um, b4 here and just build up a big big queenside expansion. Keep me out of the c4, c5 square, rather. That might be a good idea. <clears throat> In response, I could play, I suppose... I could play, uh, no, that's not going to work. I was going to say I could play b6, maybe. He's putting pressure on this guy. The b7 pawn, that's um, <clears throat> a bit annoying, but now he gave me the uh, c4 square, or at least he hasn't yet taken it away. So, if I, I mean, knight c5. Knight c5, b4, what do I play? Hmm, yeah, I don't seem to have any good squares I can go to. Okay, and um, can I play just... Um, <laughs> can I play just uh, e4, e5 here, just forking those two pieces? Uh, I guess so. <clears throat> I probably should have thought of that sooner. Maybe on a previous move. Let's see, has that been sitting there for a while? Yeah, it's been sitting there for quite a while. Well, I needed to play uh, knight d7 first. White resigns. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so actually I did that at the first opportunity, right? Knight d7 was here. He ignored that was making a threat of uh, e5, and he, did, he didn't do anything about it. He just developed his bishop, and uh, I played e5, and he resigned. Okay, well, that was a short game, but I guess I will upload this and take a look at the opening. I thought uh, white gained quite a lot of space in the opening, so there's probably better ways for me to play it. So see you guys later. Bye.